As pro-Palestinian protests spread from coast to coast this week, New York's Columbia University has become the latest flashpoint in the debate over rising anti-Semitism on college campuses and in the peace protest movement. With some Jewish students saying they feel unsafe. We feel targeted as Jews and pro-Israel students on campus. There's a lot of anxiety around campus and I think um, a lot of students don't feel protected, both my Jewish peers and uh, my Arab and, and Muslim peers. The Ivy League University's president testifying before Congress Wednesday, even as protests flared on campus. Anti-Semitism has no place on our campus, and I am personally committed to doing everything I can to confront it directly. Administrators pressed to respond to some of the most appalling examples of anti-Semitism. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Columbia's code of conduct. Mr. Greenwald. Yes, it does. Ms. Shipman. Yes, it does. Dr. Shafiq. Yes, it does. That exchange notable after the University of Pennsylvania and Harvard's presidents stumbled over the same line of questioning last year, ultimately resigning their posts. Calling for the genocide of Jews violates Harvard code of conduct, correct? Again, it depends on the context. It does not depend on the context. The answer is yes, and this is why you should resign. Some questioning Wednesday focused on the commentary of certain faculty members. Support of terrorism is acceptable if you're a Columbia professor? Not at all. While some Democrats criticized the Republican-led committee for being more focused on creating viral moments than on protecting Jewish students. This committee has held three hearings on anti-Semitism on college campuses. But not one of these hearings has considered a bill to actually address the scourge of anti-Semitism. Columbia University has a long history of political activism, and those protests are continued overnight and are expected to continue through today. Now, that House committee says they will continue their investigation and expand it to more college campuses. Savannah. All right, Garrett Hake, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.